put another log on the fire. This recent cold snap that's engulfed most of the country has me grateful that I have plenty of firewood. It occurred to me that fire and the wood we fuel it with are a great metaphor for our personal energy and coping resources. Historically, or more accurately, prehistorically, Homo erectus would follow natural occurring fires to survive off the remnants. There were cooked tubers and grains and even animals. They found fire beneficial and learned how to capture it to make their own fires, and eventually how to start one at a time and place that they wished. They used fire for lighting, making weapons, cooking, making pottery, and lots of other practical necessities. And while I have little need for a wood-burning fire, I believe I find myself in need of a certain fire in the belly from time to time. To get by some roadblock or deal with some personal setback or even just survive this damn aging process. And what is the fuel, the wood, if you will, for this fire? I guess it varies. Sometimes it's tenacity. Sometimes it's attitude. Sometimes it's real caloric energy. Sometimes it's clarity. Sometimes it's developing the strength to say no or turn the other cheek when I suffer rejection or not get sucked into others' drama, preserve my energy, preserve my fuel. So as 2024 sets in upon me, I look ahead to the fires that await me. Do I have enough wood? Do I know how to manage it and not waste it on silly emotions like anger, jealousy, mistrust, having to be right? All those judgment-based responses that rapidly burn through the wood. Or do I go out into the year as I've done often in the past and Throw more logs on the fires of unmet expectations and frustrations, keeping the temperature up while depleting the wood pile. I feel quite secure that I'm blessed with sufficient wood for my upcoming adventures, yet acutely aware that making good choices of which fires to throw it on go far to maintain that blessing. I'm hoping your wood pile is adequate for 2024 adventures, and that you find ways to keep from throwing it on the fires that don't serve you well. Meanwhile, I'm going to add one here now because, well, just because I want to. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.